you know i have one question i'll take this advantage of asking you one of my personal question because my son uh, who is uh, you know 17 now and, and has been working out recently so he you know stops me you know as as a parent i'm like continuous eat this eat that but he's like hey, mom i'm going for workout i only need my protein i only need and he has this salt water before you know he goes for his workout and and he has stopped eating his uh, carbs and all but as a mother you know i worry him because he's 17 and i like hey, okay what about your growth hormones you know you need to yeah. um, you you need that for your bones to develop so is it and i'm sure a lot of listeners out there are mothers who are worried about their young adults so what one needs to do is it a okay practice should i am um, overreacting or they need to be more careful about <laughs> so the first thing is your son is going to the gym he's not uh -huh. going to the bar he's not going and hanging out on the street corner like he's going to the gym so first yeah. of all congratulations your child is going to exercise you've already won like it's fantastic just make sure that he loves to go to the gym because he's going to go lift weights he's going to go talk to people who are into health and fitness um obviously we want to have conversations with him about and and girls go to the gym too which is also incredible like anyone who's going to the gym we want to make sure that they're into healthy lifestyle because mm -hmm. that's what's going to enable them to um get to what we want for them which is mental and physical health So you've already won. He's going to the gym. You've done a great job. You're a great mom. Don't worry about it. That's 99% of the battle. Now, when it comes to the protein powders that kids and let's call it teenagers will who'd first get into really training hard in the gym, and when it says protein, 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 and that's fair enough because you do need amino acids which we get from proteins to build your muscle tissue. So if you do a workout and you have lots of amino acids in your system, you will gain muscle mass. which is what a lot of people are looking for when they go to the gym. Mm -hmm. The key thing to get across to your son is that not only do you need to have protein, and this is for everybody. Protein is basically for your muscles and your bones. Healthy fats are for your brain and your spinal cord, and carbohydrates are for energy. And so if you want to um and your son might be interested in more muscle, less percent body fat, uh in that case you'd say yes, keep with the proteins. That's amazing. make sure that you're not only having the protein powder but many different types of protein you can get protein from vegetables or from meat or from fish um but you're also having a little bit of carbohydrate after your workout because then it's mm -hmm. absorbed quickly goes straight into your muscles you heal repair and regenerate fast and then also make sure that you're having healthy fats at breakfast and dinner because healthy fats make your brain work better your spinal cord and your nerves because that's what we use to build myelin which wraps around the branches of your neurons just like bark on the branch of a tree and protects them from damage. So if you want a better functioning brain, that's healthy fat, better functioning muscles, that's healthy protein, more energy overall, that's carbohydrates. And so that balance is what we win with long term, but I understand right now that your son's super into protein, he probably wants to decrease percent body fat. And if that's the case, you just put your carbs after your workout, not before, and that way it's absorbed straight into your muscles and used really really efficiently.